Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Activities. And today's activity is going to be the Grosser Than Gross Party Favors Kit. And here it is in its blister pack. Uh, it's got a lot of our favorites, including the fake puke and the sticky finger. And it's also got uh, something called the Oozen Roach, which you can actually squeeze through the packaging because they put a hole in this impenetrable plastic so you can squeeze it, unlike everything else that you can't possibly squeeze. Uh, it's got actually a little hole in here. I, I don't know what this does though when you squeeze it. I guess I'll find out when I open the pack because I can't actually see anything happen when I squeeze it through the pack. It's from our new friends at Tara. And it's a choking hazard, so no matter how tempted I am, I will not be putting any of these items in my mouth. And here's a little cartoon scientist to tell us to look on the back for more favors. And I'm presuming that this is Tara. And on the back you see some of the things we're not getting, including the fake poo, which I believe is the knockoff version of fake poop. And I read this before. I found the instructions for this, I'm sorry, I found the instructions for this hidden in the caution section. So, I mean, that's, that's how uh, vile and gross and toxic this, this toy actually is. But it seems like a lot of fun, it wasn't a lot of money, and so let's uh, destroy its collectible value and start playing with it. Ooh, each thing is individually wrapped, which is kind of nice, because I'm not actually going... I think it's better to maybe not unwrap some of these things, except I'm going to. In fact, I brought a little metal tray out to put things in, so I wouldn't further destroy this very nice table that I have. And here is the fake vomit. Oh, I'm sorry, the fake puke. I think fake vomit is a... Uh, trademarked name, and you have to call everything that isn't technically fake vomit. I don't know. I'm just trying to stall while I get this. This plastic is not coming off. I do not know how a kid would get this out. Oh, here it goes. And... Okay, ready? So here's the fake vomit. And you can see it's got little fake pieces of food in it. Apparently I had some uh, beef jerky. And some... Uh, I guess those are... Crunchberry cereal crunch berries? I, I don't know. Anyway, the way that you play with this is you kind of put it down and uh, make someone think that somebody puked. So, how does that... Oh, it's sticky. You could put this on a wall or something. Uh, yeah, there you go. So it's... Uh, okay, look. My friend has a Yorkshire Terrier. Would puke more than this. This is just too small to be real, really. Eh. Anyway, uh, the next thing we have is, oh boy, just sticking to everything. Here is the shoe accessory. And what this is, it makes it look like you stepped on a uh, animal. It's a tiny bear is what it looks like to me, or a, a, even a tiny squirrel, an incredibly large shrew. Anyway, it's got an adhesive back here, and the idea is that you will pull off the adhesive, and it's sticky, not sticky. Uh, I guess it just uh, holds on by virtue of, I don't know, tension? I'm not a physicist. So let's see if it works as a shoe accessory. I will put my shoe on this. And now, if I'm walking around, will it look like a... Am I supposed to glue this to my shoe or something? Yeah, I don't know. This is another terrible thing. So far, I like the fake puke a lot better than the, uh, oh gosh. Ugh. I'm going to do this right over its own packaging. This is the oozing roach. You can see it really looks like a roach. And like, uh, it's, that's the ooze. And it like, you know, fake rats. I've always found, like, cockroaches to be a kind of odd toy when you live in the city. But here we go. We're going to squeeze it. We're going to squeeze it good. Are kids supposed to squeeze this? And yeah, ooze just comes out of... Ugh. That's... That's bad. That is gross. That, in fact, that's, that's the best thing so far because it's so damn gross. 
Uh, let's take that over there. Oh yeah, the instructions in the question here said that yeah, you have to be really careful about the surface that you play on this, and that it it be something that you can actually clean. Oh my! Ah! Oh God! This is really unpleasant. Oh, this is st oh, this is actually gross. This actually was. Sh this just shocked me. This is, if you put this oh oh God, it's wh whatever you put this on it is. This feels terrible. This, and it says fake uh, finger. It is not a fake finger. This, my friends, is a fake tongue. This is a sticky fake tongue. Or did I get that wrong? Is that what this actually is? Did I misread this? Yes, this is a sticky tongue. I misread it. Because, as we've learned when I did the lottery, I am functionally illiterate. Uh, oh boy. It is gross. You would not want to put this in your mouth. And it stretches really far, too. I don't know what this is made at. <laughs> it stretches, and then it does this, which is kind of gross. I'm going to put that on the packaging, too. Oh, no, the roach got, on, the roach got onto my table. Hope I'll get that off. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's everything you get. And just to recap, puke too small. Foot shoe accessory did not work at all. The... Oozing roach is pretty gross, but the grossest thing of all is this sticky fake tongue. It looks like a tongue, it's sticky, and it's disgusting. So, ugh, that's it. That's the Grosser Than Gross Party Favors Kit. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Uh, if you really liked it, please hit the share button and share it with somebody. Hit the subscribe button. Find out what's coming next. I've got more activities coming up, so... Thanks for watching and thanks for liking this video. See you soon.